Well, good morning, you googs. Welcome back to Texas. It's gonna be a good day. We've woken up bright and breezy to film a video for you guys. We are, what are we doing? Are we just fishing today? Are we doing a little derby? What do you guys want to do today? Do you guys want to do a 1v1? Do you just want to get after it and catch some fish? And I a, really, I honestly want to catch big fish. Disgusting I lake. I want to catch I want a to see, like, the biggest vibe that we can catch. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's put like, uh, let's just do 1v1 biggest fish. Okay. We're, we're all wanting a big fish. It's yeah. springtime in Texas. That's right. <laughs> Man, but in that, is, mode. that is the loudest 1500 I've ever heard. Seeing as we all want to catch big fish, I figure this is a good time to do a 1v1 big bass challenge. We're all on one boat, all on one lake, fishing for a giant bite. So that's the game plan, that's the mission. We'll meet you guys out in the drink, stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go crank. If anything, we're off to a good start because this guy over here just had a a little two pounder, it looked like hit some kind of little small spinner bait or something like that. But uh, he shook it right at the bank. So, we've been here for 30 seconds and if that's an indication of how today's gonna go, I like it. I like today it. is our last day in Texas, by the way. Yeah, it is. And my biggest fish here this week, three and a half pounds. I, I would really like pounder. to beat that. Huh? Did you catch a seven pounder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I almost did. He, uh, I shook him off because he wasn't quite 10 pounds. Yeah. And I didn't want my biggest fish to only be seven. So, I don't know. Yeah. I'm ready today. Yeah, I want to see ready. some big fish. I'm trying to catch a mega today. I'm going to kind of switch up between tactics here. This is a, a very shad dense lake, so we're going to start off by throwing shad imitation lures. This is a scout. I don't know the exact name of this color, I probably should because we designed these baits in these colors, but we're gonna call it Bone White Shadley today. And even though it's like kind of warm out, jerkbait always works like year round, especially the scout. I think people are too caught up in the fact that a, that a jerkbait is only good for like cold water or, or temps that aren't rising, that are dropping, but this is a bait that I catch big fish on literally year round from start to finish, so. We're on. We're tight. We're tight. Oh, it's a nice one. It's <laughs> yeah, dude, this is my biggest Texas bass, even though I've only been here for a few days. All right. All right, all right. I'm going to bring her to you. I'll just bring her right up. Ready? <laughs> Let's go, dude. Nice fish, bro. Thanks, man. Dude, you came right <laughs> off the hook. That's epic. <laughs> Guys, first probably like 15 minutes out here. My biggest Texas bass ever. Not saying much. It's like my third day ever fishing in Texas. I'm so glad I was able to do this before. We have to go home today, so. What a stud. Beautiful one. What do you guys think that is? Maybe like four, three and a half? All right, probably close to four. Guys, that fish came on the A-Rig with all these different color and sizes of the saucy swimmers, and I think it ate this one. Actually, maybe we can find the teeth marks. Maybe he got the back one. I don't even know. He came off right when we pulled him up in the net. That was such an epic bite. So much fun. Muscle rod got her in, man. And I'm just ready to keep on casting and catch another one. There we go. Good 
brand new. Fresh out the box. You expect nothing less from uh, from John with the uh, white and chartreuse. Just a whole box full of them. That's my all-time favorite color, man, <laughs> is white and chartreuse. They're gonna, eat, they're gonna eat it. They're gonna eat it for sure. When I pick a lake, I try to find the reservoirs and the ponds that are most heavily dense with garbage. I, I really think, honestly, that you know that um, what is it like BPA and all? What am I trying to say? All, all that trash in the water really seems to kind of heat up the surface temp a little bit quicker. You know, um, I don't know. I'm just not really a huge fan of fishing stuff that's like deep, clear, and pristine. I, I like pitching to you know, old dumpsters, washing machines that have been abandoned. Uh, there was a stroller that I caught a, a you know, five pounder on last year. It's just, kind of think outside the box sometimes. And these fish especially love to bed on uh, used diapers too. So, something to keep, keep in mind, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. That's a pretty good one. If it's a large one, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh they're betting, they're betting. They are betting. Hang on, they're betting. There's nice ones down there. Those are good fish. It's gonna be hard to catch when they're doing this stuff. But. There's two fish that are actively spawning. Bryant literally saw this from like 20 yards away. They look pretty good. I'm not sure how big though. Probably three or four pounds. It's hard to catch them when they're literally doing the dirty. Because, you know, I mean, would you want to eat a hamburger in the middle of, you know? I mean, it makes sense as to why they're not eating right now. We can definitely come back to these fish though and they'll be here. Oh my God, dude, look at them. stay shallow. Bandito bug always gets him. It's about, probably close to five and a half pounds. Oh, stud, man. Right, let's get some more. Let's go, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Let's go. Watch out, Brent. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Gosh, keep that's a tight. Just keep him tight. Just keep him tight, bro. That's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Dude, that might be. What's your PB? Eight pounds on the dot. I that's think. Kind of close. close. That's kind of <laughs> close. Nah. It's a giant. Yeah, that's a stud. You don't know that's a stud. <laughs> we just got two studs back Let's here. Let's go, dude. Same there creek on the bandito bug. Jeez. Let's freaking go, dude. We have an absolute bag right now, and we don't even have all five. We're just gonna burn through this. Look really. There's one. Oh my oh, God! There's good one. Work. Good one. Oh, fucking nut. Fucking nut. <laughs> we gonna flip, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. There we go. Nice bass. Just changed spots, and we got one. That's number five, boys. Let's go. Whoo! Sweet. Beautiful Texas largemouth bass. Oh. Yeah, in our bag. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. I'm gonna get a trash bag. Yo, right in front of the boat. Oh. Got him, got him, oh. got him. Oh! oh Holy cow, oh, get the net, get the net. Oh Please stay God. on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Biggest Texas bass I've ever had. Oh my gosh, John. Hey, bro. Holy cow, man. Oh, oh, I'm broke. Broke. oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Slowly, don't. Right. It's fine, it's fine. Right. We're good, we're good. We're okay. We're okay! <laughs> nice job. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's god. a Texas brute right there. I figured we were just fishing this bank. John just caught a tank. Yak pack was flipping. I was like, I'm not gonna flip the same spot as he is. Doesn't make too much sense. Well, boom! 
pigging, man. This is tough. What an awesome day of fishing, dude. Nice. You got it. Get the net. <laughs> Too slow with the net. Too yeah, slow with the net, yeah. That's guaranteed 30. That's about yep. five pounds. Dude, this has been one of the most unreal days of Texas fishing I've had all year. Absolutely crushing them on the Dieter bug. Oh, it's gonna go five. Surely. Yes. Yes. Five, five pounds, one ounce. I think that honestly broke us over a 30 pound bag today. Unfreaking real. Thank you so much, little buddy. That's gonna be our last fish of the day. We're gonna put him back in the water. Absolutely freaking insane. This is why you fish Texas in the spring. Oh, look at you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. See you later. Well, guys, what do you think of Texas? I have right. no words. I have no words. <laughs> this was a 30-pound bag. I mean, that's that's insane. Yeah. I, I don't even have any words. It's crazy. You caught a seven-pounder today, man. And I caught man. seven. I, I broke so many records today. First fish on John's boat. Biggest fish in Texas. Um, biggest fish. I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going yeah. with this. this we came this. out here it's with crazy. a goal, and that was for both of us to catch our biggest Texas bass. It was our last day here. Yeah. You got a seven, seven one. I got a six seven. Yep. Both of which are biggest Texas bass. We caught a 30-pound bag. You can't ask for a better day than that. Beautiful weather. Fun time, man. Thanks for it. Yeah, boys. You guys what a sand, killed dude. it today. What a sand. We just wrapped up quite possibly one of the best days of bass fishing I think we've ever filmed on this channel, other than maybe some of our Comodoro Mexico videos. But this is insane. I yeah. think if you do the math, we like literally either just made 30 or barely made it. The dirty 30 is like the pinnacle for any bass angler, your best five. Catching five fish with a human weight over 30 pounds, it's a dream come true. And uh, I think we, we managed to do it today. We caught yeah. some, we got two sixes, a handful of fives and fours, and that seven more on the bed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also if you guys were wondering, we went back and released those fish where we caught them on the bed and uh, made sure that they continued the whole spawning process because that's the point. We're not here to just catch fish and show you. Yeah, no, we're, not at all. We're here to make, uh, make these fish thrive and so they can do their thing and make the babies. But anyway, we're peace not signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Google Squad.